Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we'll cover about the directives of AngularJS. So along with the AngularJS directives, we'll also see what all directives which are available in AngularJS which we can use very commonly. So before proceeding, let's see what all directives are all about. Directives are nothing but just a markers in the DOM that is a document object model. In directives, you can actually use it with any of the controls or HTML tag which will tell the compiler what exact operation or behavior that is expecting. AngularJS comes with some predefined set of directives but if a developer wants, he can create its own custom directives as well. So let's see what all directives are available. In this video, we will only focus on the predefined directives provided by AngularJS. So first directive which we already used earlier that is ng-app which is nothing but a starting point of your AngularJS code in the HTML. As soon as you specify, you are ready to go for AngularJS code. Ng model. Ng model used to bind the values with any of the HTML control. Ng bind again used for binding the value but with HTML tags. For example, if you want to bind the value with any text box or any other control, you should go for ng model. But if you want to go for binding the value with any of the tag, maybe div or span, you should go for ng bind. ng controller. If you have created multiple controllers in any module, you have to specify which controller you are currently going to work with. ng value whenever you want to set or get the value with any element of your DOM. ng show basically gets or sets value with boolean that is true or false. If ng show value is true, that particular control will be shown and just opposite ng hide will be hidden when it will get a true value. ng init. This is actually used to initialize the value with any particular value for any element or variable. ng repeat. This directive is used whenever we get some data in bulk or in any requirement wherever we want to use some iterational statements. So in th that situation, we use ng repeat directive. ng click is basically one event handler directive. Similarly, you have ng dbl click for double click and some more directives which actually deals with a particular event. ng disabled is basically when you want something to disable or enable dynamically using AngularJS code and ng required basically these types of uh, directives are used to provide some validations like ng required you will get some others like for, for format or for minimum or maximum length. So let's quickly see a video uh, example where we have used some of the directives as here you can check that I started my AngularJS code in this div that is ng app is equal to blank because so far I have not mentioned any module to this. After that there is a text box where I used ng model directive for binding the value with the text box and the same value I specified here in ng bind which is applied to a HTML tag. So as earlier we clarified that ng model binds value with the control and ng bind binds value with any HTML tag. So as soon as you will start writing anything in this text box, the same value will be reflected here in this span. 
Let's go for an, another example where we have taken some controls like checkbox or button and some more examples. So here, let's start from the first. In first checkbox, I bound it with the model called enable disable button. Any name you can specify out here. But the same name I specified here in this button which is using ng disabled directive. Ng disabled directive will disable this button whenever this value will be true. So when you will check the checkbox, the value will be true and the button will be disabled. As soon as you will uncheck that, it will be false and disabled will also be false. Means the button will be enabled and you can click it. In next example, there is again a checkbox with model show hide one. This show hide one is used here with the directive called ng show. So whenever show will get a true, it will display this button. As soon as show is false, it will hide that button. Just opposite to ng hide. So whenever you will che check this checkbox, it will be true and button will be displayed. When you will uncheck the checkbox, value model will be false and it will hide that button. In the last row, we have taken a button which continuously adding a click counter. So let's see what we are doing here. I'm using ng click directive. This ng click directive basically using a variable called click counter which will be initialized with zero by default and uh, on every click it is being incremented by one as you can see click counter plus one so whatever value you will get there will be shown here as we have passed a expression the angular js expression out there the double curly braces so as many times you will click the button the same value will be displayed in this column, in the first column. So in this video, we have seen what AngularJS directives is all about, some of the list of AngularJS directives and sample programs. In our next video, we'll cover the practical implementation of those programs.